Hey everyone, in this session we are going to discuss about how we can feature or promote our Power BI report, dashboard and apps on the Power BI homepage. Now let me explain you what is this newly rolled out feature that promoting or featuring the content on the Power BI homepage. So this is my Power BI homepage and you can see that currently so many out of the box categories are available on this homepage. Now with this out of the box category, Microsoft recently introduced one new category that is the featured content on Power BI home. Now the question is your mind that what is this feature content and how it will be useful to the organization. So as a tenant admin or an administrator or let's say as a promoter, now you can promote or feature some of the reports, dashboards and app on this featured section of the homepage. Now in this session we are going to discuss about all of these things in detail. So during this session first we will talk about how we can enable this featured content as a tenant admin. Then we will feature one report on the homepage. We will also in, uh, we will also feature one dashboard on homepage. Now we can also feature apps on the homepage. After that we will discuss about the permission for this featured content. Now let's say for an example if someone don't have the access of the report or dashboard so does the section available to that specific user that answer will be given into that section and at last we will uh, manage all the featured content as a tenant admin from the admin portal. So stay connected with me till end of the video. And if you are for the first time to my channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. So now let's get started how to enable the featured content from the admin portal. So currently I have logged in with the tenant admin of this Power BI account. Now first of all go to the settings and open the admin portal. I am opening admin portal and now go to the tenant setting. Under tenant setting, we have the different options available here. Now go to the export and sharing setting and from there we have an option featured content. So make sure that your tenant has available this option. If you, uh, if you, don't, uh, if you don't see this option, that means that this feature is not available in your account till now. Now expand this thing. Now here we just need to enable this feature. Currently I have enabled this feature for the entire organization because I am testing this feature with my trial account but here you can restrict the user to use this featured content option. So you can use this option. You can select any security group over here. So I already have one security group. Let's say for an example BI promoters. So I have here BI promoters security group. So two users has been added to that group at this moment for only these two users feature content would be available. Let me just cancel this thing and let me just select this entire organization at this moment. Just click on the apply. So it will show you the message like this change will take 15 minutes to reflect in your tenant. All right. Sometimes it is taking more than 15 minutes, but almost it is available. I already have enabled this feature in my tenant. So now it would be available. So hope this is clear for you now that how to enable this featured content from the admin portal. All right. Now let's embed. Now let's feature one dashboard on the home page. Now one more thing I need to mention here that this feature only supports the new workspaces. That means that workspace created with V2 versions are supported with this newly rolled out feature. Now from the workspace go to your workspace. Now let's go to the workspace and feature one of the dashboard on the Power BI home. So here I have two dashboards. Now I want to feature any of the dashboard on the home page. First of all you need to open the setting from the dashboard. Now when you open the setting you will have these columns available here. Description and snapshot and here is an option that featured. Alright so let me just add some description over here. This is the featured content for 
स्कूल मैनेजमेंट नाउ स्नैपशॉट मीन्स यू नीड टू अपलोड एनी ऑफ द सैंपल स्क्रीन ओवर हियर सो लेट से लेट मी जस्ट अपलोड वन फीचर डैशबोर्ड इमेज सो आई एम एडिंग दिस स्नैपशॉट ओवर हियर दैट मीन्स दैट दिट्स वुल बी अवेलेबल ऑन द होम पेज नाउ we need to enable this featured option means i want to promote this dashboard in the featured section on the home now if you are not able to see this feature means that your tenant hasn't been applied or enabled with this feature and let's say for an example if we have added some security group over there so only those users who are added to that security group will be able to enable this option rest of the users have been seen with the grayed out option now just click on save option now this dashboard have been featured on the home page so now let's check that go to the power bi home scroll down and we will have let's just refresh this thing so here you can see that that feature dashboard have been appear over here now when we click on that dashboard you are able to view that dashboard over here all right now go to the power bi home and now let's feature one of the report here so procedure is same first of all go to your workspace let's say for an example go to the report section now let's say for an example i want to feature this report i'm clicking on this setting just add some description featured report upload any snapshot over here just click on the save and enable this featured option from here and save go to the power bi home to check the changes let's refresh the browser and here it is we can see this featured report over here just click on this report so it will open that report now let's just check about the permission thing now let's check about the access so currently this featured content is available for the entire tenant now what if if user don't have the access of that report or that dashboard you will get this answer over here so first of all let's check the workspace from where we have enabled that featured content <coughs> so this is my workspace that is adults mobile view report now let's check the workspace access so here you can see only one user has been added to that workspace that is dhruvin now let me just open another user's account and check that feature content is available for him or not so let me just open that account into incognito window so currently i have logged in with the adel's account and adel don't have an access for this feature content whenever he clicks on that report it will show this type of pop up to him that request access let's get permission to view this report so he will not able to view that report but still that will be available in his featured section over here so hope this clear for you now for the permission thing that if user don't have an access they are not able to view the report now let's check one more thing that how we can feature the app over there so currently this feature is not available but let me just show you the steps so here we already have this app ms teams integration app now let's say for an example if i am going to this app and go to the setting i would have the option for feature this app on the home so using that option you can feature your app on your home page all right so hope this is clear for you now now let's check one last thing over here that how we can manage our featured content as a admin so let's say for an example currently i have enable this feature for my entire tenant now 
As a tenant admin, I want to know that which are the feature content that has been added by the user and who is the user who has added that content. So for that, go to the admin portal and, and we have one additional section over here that is featured content. Just click on that option. So here you can see all the featured content that is available on the home page with its type, with workspace, with the featured by person name and when it was featured. Now as a tenant admin, let's say I don't want this thing to be appear on the home screen for all the users. So I just click on this delete option. So it will, so it will show you the prompt that deleting a featured uh, artifact will remove it from the featured section on the home. Are you sure you want to remove one, at, one featured artifact? So yes, I want to delete this. So once you delete it from the featured content, it will be removed from the home page for all the users. Alright, so uh, that is how you can manage this featured content from your admin portal. Alright, so hope this is clear for you now. This is all about the featured content on the Power BI homepage. If you have any question related to this video, you can add your comment in the comment section. You can message me on plus 919537981467 on WhatsApp and you can email me on dhruvinsha16 at gmail.com. Feel free to share your opinion about this newly rolled out feature, how you like this feature and how best you are going to use in your organization. Share your opinion with me. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. You can connect me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and WhatsApp. Also, if you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel, just click on this link. This will be redirect you to this form, fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification from my channel.